stop. Your brain is a dangerous neighborhood. Basically left to its own devices, the brain will always skew toward the negativity bias. It's a vestige from our old survival instinct aspect of our brain that looks for problems and looks to be in survival mode. But basically what happens is, is that we will stick to the negative five times more readily uh, than we will uh, stick to the positive. We need five more positive thoughts to combat one negative thought. And so our brain is constantly in a state when we don't do anything about it, in a state of survival and negativity. Basically, you can unlock your brain and your mind can be rewired for self-compassion, acceptance, compassion for others as well, positivity, and functioning better under change and stress. But you need a way to do that. You need a methodology in order to be able to do that on a consistent day in, day out basis. Hi, my name is Victoria Laureate Davis. I am a legacy global holistic psychotherapist. I'm also registered psychotherapist and I've been doing this for the better part of 25 years. It's a long time, but what that brings with you is tremendous amount of experience. I have an extremely busy private practice and I'm also a kick-ass game-changing speaker and what I bring to audiences is excitement and passion and also massive amounts of education and knowledge. I've written two game-changing books, the second of which, the blue one, uh, wonderful icon, media icon, Deanie Petty, wrote the foreword to it and said that her life would have changed, her marriages would have changed if she had had access to this material early or earlier in her life. The experience of speaking to audiences I love it when people say, I never thought about it that way. And that's what people say when they get me as a speaker at their organization or at their corporation. And I'm gonna to read to you something that one of the uh, people that hired me to speak said, Victoria Laurie Fabish is a powerhouse speaker, full of inspiration, motivation, and dedication. And the audience basically, what did they say? Oh yes, the audience, lives through her experience while giving so many others the ultimate hope to stop dimming their light and to charge forward in their lives. Recently, I was honored, so honored to be invited to speak at a group at the Harvard Medical School twice in the past two months. And they just loved the work that I brought to the table, this technology to unlock your brain, to wire yourself for positivity, to wire yourself for self-compassion and relaxation and to, uh, basically undo the negativity bias that your brain tends to hook into. So delighted to, to be here with you and to share my being with you so that the planet can be full of joyous, happy, self-compassion and compassion to other people. That's what I'm looking to do, to disrupt, disrupt the way our brain works and also to basically change the world so that it's, so everyone is wired for positivity as opposed to the other.